welcome to my channel. Today I'll be showing you a flip through of the Cottage Garden Corsage Journal. I finally finished it. But I would like to say first, thank you for stopping by and watching my videos and all the support and comments that you all give me. You all are so very inspiring. I can't do this without y'all, so thank you very much. And so let's get started. So I want to show you this one first. Now this one, I messed up. I totally, I'm just, I have to just tell you, I messed up. So this is not the finished product. I don't know what to do with this yet because it's pretty, but I've messed it up. So I need some practicing with my binding. And um, I, that's one thing I need to work on is my binding. So I'm playing around with different ways of binding. I, I like the way everybody is binding, but I'm trying to figure out a different way to do it. So, here is what happened. So, um, first I tried to sew it with a sewing machine. That was a mistake because it's too thick. So, I learned my lesson there, so I won't do that again. I love using the sewing machine to bind it, but it's not the right way. So, then I went in there and I uh, poked it through with a big needle through the spine. So I tried that and it just ruined it. So let me show you up close. It doesn't look good. So I'm not going to do, I'm not going to sell this or give it to anybody. I'm just going to take it apart. See the spine, see, um, let me see if I can get up close here. So you see when you open the journal, you can see all my mistakes, and I am not going to <laughs> even give that to somebody. I love all the beautiful laces in it, and um, a new um, a new way of uh, sewing over here. It reminds me of lace, so I love I loved that. I I love doing that in my journal, and I love all the vintage laces, and a lot of these are from my mom. This one's from the Snippets of Gratitude kit. And it is a very pretty journal. But, um, oops, wrong way. But the spine is not, I don't like it. So I'm, this is not it. So hold on just one second. So this is it right here. So this is the final Cottage Garden Corsage Journal. And I clipped the gosh it's so hard to see on this camera um so that one measured 10 and a half inches tall this is a normal sized one i think it's uh eight and a half and it has i believe it has 80 pages all together i think i need to recount that and um so this is the finished product right here. So this is the garden, um, cottage garden corsage journal. So I used um, white lace for the cover. So let's take everything off. Well, actually, um, I'm gonna move this off to the side for a second. And I've made this because I didn't have enough wrapping paper. I did wrap this bag um, or glued the, the rest of the wrapping paper onto this bag. So there it is. And it's just, um, you know, I'm going to put these two items inside this bag, but I wanted to share this with you. I put a peachy pink, uh, trim and flowers on here with some peachy pink lace and it matches with, uh, the wrapping paper. So it's very pretty. And then I put a pocket here with lace from the Snippets of Gratitude Kit from Ooh La La Vintage Treasures. And I also use some beautiful pictures from Pinterest. I'm gonna buy these roses. These are the ones I'm gonna purchase next. <laughs> so um, I forget what they're called, but you know, I just put these in the pocket here. 
So this is the bag that I made for to hold these. So let's put this off to the side. And I made this. Let's look at this first. So this is my um, doily pocket that I made. And it's uh, tea dyed. And I will do a tutorial soon about how to make these, so stay tuned for that. And this cameo is from Ivy. It is so pretty, and I had to put it on here with some eyelash trim and some beautiful vintage lace on the bottom. And inside is another envelope. So here is this beautiful image. I love the, the little girl. She's so innocent and so cute. And um, Blanca's reflection, I use the rose for here. And um, so on the back of this, this is a, just a little bag, a crunchy little bag. And I put chiffon down here and um, some lace on the back where you could see it like that and inside here is just two little lined papers that you can journal on I just wanted to make something a little different than uh, I usually make so that goes in there and then that goes into this pocket So we have that there. So that was fun. And then I made this. Now this is a wax bag that I used for this. And I did sew on this lace on the whole thing. But what it did was it started gathering. So I had I learned a lot of things making this, this journal. And um, so I had fun though. But that's okay. So I did sew this into the signature with the sewing machine and um, white seam binding and more uh, Blanca's reflection here. And I love this image as well. She's so cute. And I love the lace on her arms. She's so feminine and just sweet looking. And it, it has a good crunch to it, so I love it. And I just kept this very simple. I just put baby pink and coffee dyed papers in here. And um, some of the pages I put some trims on. So I had super fun with that. And see, I sewed it in there. So you see that there. So I'm just going through this quickly because it's just you know, some fun papers. And there is a pocket in here. So I hope that you like that. And then here's the journal. Now here's um, the corsage. I'm going to take it off. Now this inspired me because of spring and Mother's Day. And I miss my, my mother. So I wanted to make this for somebody to give to their mother or for themselves but this is the corsage that we made and then here is the journal and this is a cream colored lace on top of white lace and I think this was a pillowcase and then I you know put trim here all the way around and then I also put um, chiffon for the closure So it's uh, coffee dyed, super soft. Everything's so pretty and so full. It's either, I either put 20 papers in here, so it equals out to f uh, 42, 40 to 42 pages all together, or it's 40 and it equals 80. I'll have to recount everything and I'll put it in the description box. But here's the tag. And I photocopied the wrapping paper. Thank goodness I did that. And um, I made a simple bow here. And I put a little snippet and I just stapled it there. So that was a fun tag. And then I just mused, mused, <laughs> used this music paper 
from Hobby Lobby in my mom's lace. And this is what inspired me to make this journal. This is my mom's hat. And um, I just put this little picture together in my kitchen. And where, right when I took the picture, the sun shined right on my mom's hat. And I was like, wow. <laughs> so I wanted to share this with you. And that was my mom's watering can and her hat. And I just wanted to take a... A picture of it so this is a journaling tag there and then um, a tuck spot there and some uh, vintage lace there and this is all coffee dyed paper so this is just one signature and I did um, let me scroll in here so I sewed with my sewing machine. I like this lace look. So every page I think is sewed. So let's scroll back out. And I made a pocket here and I got this beautiful fabric from Shelly. You see binding bow. I can't get away from bows. They're just feminine and fun. And this is what we made together um, on the last video. And I use, this is from Blanca's Reflection. Such a pretty kit. So I love these lace flip up pocket tags. They're so fun. And then this beautiful lace that I sewed in. All the lace is sewed in. And I love, I love this, this lace look with the sewing machine. It's so pretty. And here's a coffee filter that was um, a peach color. And then I coffee dyed it and it made it a muted peach color. And uh, I also used peach, peachy pink thread throughout the whole book. And I sewed the coffee filter as well. And then here's a tuck spot. I love, love Blanca's reflections. It's so pretty. And then these fun little tags that you could journal on or just play with. And here's more of that pretty lace. I sewed it here and here. And here's a vintage lace pocket with white seam binding bow. And here is a tag that I finished off camera. So I put my mom's vintage lace here. And I can't find any more of this lace. I wish I could find some more. I love it. I think it's my absolute favorite. And the color is a blush pink. But it's very muted blush pink. It's so pretty. It looks vintage. And then I put uh, this lace here with a white seam binding bow with some pearl trim. And then flip it up. And I used Blanca's Reflections again. So it's just a journaling tag here, and I love this perfume bottle. It's so feminine and pretty. I, I enjoy working with that kit. So I made this tag um, right after I finished the other one. So I sewed a lace pocket on here with my mom's lace. So there's that one, and I love this lace too. I'm almost out of that as well. And then I sewed these pages and lace down here. And I put a blush peachy pink um, huge paper clip there with a tea dyed doily. And on the back side I just tucked it in with roses of Picardi paper. You could journal on the back side. Such a pretty paper. But when my photocopier, when I copy something, it's been coming out blurry. And that's a almost a brand new printer. I haven't even had it a year yet, so I need to figure out what's wrong with it. But um, I sewed it there. I love that. It looks like lace. So on one of the the upper thread I used cream and then on the lower 
uh, bobbin thread, I used a peachy pink. And then here's some cream lace. That's how I got that effect of the peach. Let's see. So on this side is the peach color, and then on this side is the beige color. Oops. Okay, so let's keep flipping through here. So here's a, a tuck spot here, and I got this image off of Pinterest, and it has a, a peachy pink um, lace here and a beige lace here that I just stapled to the card. And here's the paper that I copied on tea dyed paper. I love this image. Reminds me of my mom lifting me up in, in the garden and picking some roses. So this image is reminds me of my mom. So, and here's that, and I just put some laces there, sewed here. So here's the middle of the signature, and here's a tuck spot, some music paper. And now we did this together on um, a video. So um, I ended up putting a gold pin here with this peachy pink tassel, so pretty. And then um, no pocket on this one. So these are fun. And you know, when you tuck it in, you could you could put it over things like that. And uh, all the laces and the ombre here. More music tuck spot here. So in here I put this. This reminded me of my mom as well. She loved to lay down and read a book, so I loved this image. And then I layered it with some Ooh La La Vintage Treasures and uh, my mom's lace there. And then behind here is some of that music paper, Smile Through Your Tears song. And when you read the lyrics, it will touch your heart. And uh, just some seam binding and pearls there. And here I made from all the snippets of lace from the journal, I made a tassel and it's on a bulb pin, and this little part came from the Snippet of Gratitude kit, but it's just really pretty. So it's just all the snippets from off all the laces that I used in this journal. Just a fun tassel, something fun to play with. Beautiful lace here, so pretty with the flowers. And then here's the other side of the the coffee filter that's peach, peachy, and uh, I coffee dyed it to mute it up and with peachy and cream uh, thread there. And then up here is a little tiny eyelet lace and it's so pretty and dainty, I love it. And then this is some of my mom's lace here. I love this lace. I love the polka dots in the trim. And I sewed it on there. And then this was some of, um, no, I got this lace from um, an antique store. And then this as well. And then here's a fun uh, pocket that I'm missing the paper that I tucked in there. Um, okay, so this comes open like this. So when you want to journal on this paper, there won't be anything lumpy on there. So I just used the wrapping paper, wrapped this, and this is so fun. So I tied it together like this, and then, uh, so you can open it. Well, let's take the tag out. So this tag is tucked in there. 
and it's just flipped. Very pretty. And then in this pocket, we have this beautiful pocket too. And this journaling card. So this flips open. So it, it can flip it flips open like that all the way. And then inside of this beautiful lace pocket, and this was from the Snippets of Gratitude kit as well. And here's a tag. I love this lace. This is the lace that I can't find. And it's, it's almost the color of a ballet slipper, a pink ballet slipper. So pretty. And then uh, just some seam binding and a vintage button here. And I just inked it up. So I had uh, somebody ask me, how do I shabby up laces? So what I do is I take my laces and um, I usually never cut them straight on unless I need to, but this is how I shabby my laces. So you kind of just grab your lace and kind of rough it up on the edge to make it look shabby. See that? So it looks worn. And then I need to do that to this one on the bottom. So you just grab it. See, I'm pinching it and pulling it. So that's how I shabby my laces. See what it does? Just kind of makes it look worn. So that's how I do that. And then on the back side has some pretty cream lace here. And more music paper from Hobby Lobby. And then it has this lace that my mama left me too. So on the front and back cover, is it is a soft cover. So I used um, a pretty pillowcase. Eyelet, looks like eyelet lace pillowcase. And I did sew it with that beautiful uh, lace looking for the detail. And I used a pretty pearl button there. And so I made this envelope too with the rest of the wrapping paper. So I was able to get, you know, some photocopies, uh, which I'm so glad I did. So I made this envelope and I sewed it using that beautiful stitch again. And some beautiful lace here that I got from a YouTube sale. I will leave all the information I can find down below in the description box. So inside is just some fun, yummy things. So here's the back. And it, it's crunchy, so I love that. So my mom, she left me her her dance book and I'll show you in the next video but I made a photocopy of this she had this in here so this is just something to journal on and it's Women's Day magazine September 23rd 1980 so she did newspaper clippings all the time it looks black but it's a really dark hunter green and I loved the greens. It kind of matches with the envelope. So that's why I put that in there. So you can journal on that. And then she also had this in there as well. And I photocopied this one. I, I know the name of this, this painting. It even has the name down there. So this was out of that magazine too. So I wanted to share that with you all. And it's the same colors too with the green. And then this one is from um, Jennifer, Trace's Sparkle, her beautiful uh, paper as well. This is from the Blanca's Reflection Kit. And I, I printed it out on uh, coffee dyed paper, so I put that in there. 
And then I put a piece of the wrapping paper in here so you could play around and make your own tags and whatever you'd like, whatever you wish. And then these, this is uh, leftover uh, cardstock matte photo paper from when I photocopied things. And then these yummy things are from Blanca's Reflection. I love all these words. Gratitude, special, beautiful, and treasure. And I love these roses. So, just give me a second. Alright, so I hope that you like this video. And you like the journal. I hope that you like the, the new journal. And sorry about the old one. I have to practice on my binding. Um, but I wanted to also share that this is a soft cover. I did make it with cardstock and felt. So I hope that you like the Cottage Garden Corsage Journal and everything that comes with it. I hope that this inspires you to make something beautiful. So I look forward to seeing you in my next video. I thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful and lovely day. Have a blessed day. Bye.